They're going to go ahead and look for a kill. NS going to be caught. There's a Grave Chill on top of Venomancer's Gale, and NS will be the first blood. The damage output just not there. Arzart with just level one magic missile. Unable to really... They may get AA. Yep, Grave Chill. That's going to be a two for one. And... Did end up no, killing off... He's going to die, too. Yep. First blood. At top. And Fluff's going to land a Gale through the trees. Here comes TC right on top of him. Do they have the damage? They do. And, wow, Luna's in trouble as well. There's going to be a stun on the Fluff. Can they pick him off? The tower will secure the kill. Arzart got the magic missile off and made it a one-for-one one disruptor for Venno. Never mind, Luna's right there. She's going to land the Lucid Beam after that. And another kill goes the way of VP. So this lane... This phase boost on TC, though. You may catch AA. Oh, actually got juked a bit. He's going to salve up in the corner. Now he has to run. Lucid Beam is back off cooldown. Not even going to spend it, though. Rather just hang on to the man. Yeah, and Light Heaven is all six. Is he actually going to die? Oh. There is a root. What a oh, root. that's the break your keyboard root now. G might yep. die, too. G cogs himself in. Can they get a root on him? Looking for it. Looking for it. He's going to hook in. Here comes the Gale that actually was off the mark. Bought quick for room and time, though. The bear's staying on him. Looking for the one swipe. Not, not, not that time. He will drop the cogs again. The bear's going to loop around. And there's the roar from Bulba. It's totally unnecessary. <laughs> And yeah, Light of Heaven as a player, and you know, he's just been struggling. He really has. Uh, even in games where he's done well. Smoke about to expire, but looks like he will grab the Invis rune. There's a hook on the way to Light of Heaven's there. We'll be able to get the track off. God taking a lot of damage. They do get a track kill, but they will get a return kill. NS is going to find him. He might get glimpsed. Nope, not spotted yet. NS is looking for him. There it is. And gets off the Poison Nova. So they managed to get a free kill on Fluff, but now they have to come and defend their tower. Way Too's there with the Grave Chill. There's the Roar as well. And just look at the damage output. You cannot underestimate just how much damage Way Too Sexy can do with this Visage. One, there's another glimpse that's going to catch Bulba. Static Storm is there. Here comes AA. Bulba going to try to TP. Not going to work. As the Venge is there with the magic missile, Bubba continuing to run, will be Janotted down. Very, uh, not only has Koifa played a little lone druid, he's actually the second most successful at active Dota on the hero. There's going to be Light of Heaven dusted out, roared down, and spun away. And that's a dominating streak for TC. And I would say it was a, a high value kill, but really, Light of Heaven has just been kind of coming into fights at the tail end to throw out track and hasn't contributed a whole lot else. There's the Poison Nova. Got him with the Gale as well. They're just going to try to TP him away. Oh! Manages to cancel it, and now NS getting off the Static Storm Kinetic Field. T's going to be the next target, and uh, looks like they don't want to commit too much to it. Up, oh, there's a nice glimpse. That'll bring Bulba back. Lucid Beam slows him down. They have nothing else to follow it up. AA did have swap, but couldn't uh, get into range. Of action. Hey, way too made that on top, though. Way too caught out in the cogs. He's doing good damage. NS is there, too. He's going to have to drop the Static Storm, just trying to kill way too sexy. And both of these, these heroes might be dope. TC... Does have Omni Slash up. He's going to wait for him to pass by. And yep, here we go. Glimpse back on TC. And here comes the bear to chase him down. Gale got two. Kinetic Field's down. Roar onto God. That's going to let the bear just continue to tee off. NS is going to be dropping. Same as God. One down, two down. And soon to be a tower down. The Roshan. And uh, when you're at the advantage, this is it's always wise. The bluff actually going to be caught out by Light of Heaven. It gets hit with the Poison Nova. And up. Oh, whoa. Big disconnect. That's never good. Three, two, one, and back in. All right. Captain's chair Merlini time. And wow, there's a <laughs> there's a kill with the shuriken there. Back in the Roche pit or near the Roche pit. Look at God. God is caught out and drops his cogs. And there's the roar from the low ground. Oh, TC. TC Omni slashed up. Bad positions either. Top You're one down. There's a roar in the blow, though. They're gonna try to follow it up as Way Two's there. Does eat the stun, but he dropped the Luna, and <laughs> Way Two able to retreat after the Grave Chill. Bulba has a DD and the Soul Assumption from long range. Bulba is going to go ahead and bottle him back up some health. There's a Ghost Scepter. The Axe is trying to be dodged. Here come the Familiars, though. 
One last stun and a swap, so AA being cheeky in his own right. The Axis, oh, they do get him as TC comes in at the last minute. I was going to say, uh, oh, hang on, way too, or excuse me, Quick but bottom. Silenced out. They do manage to get his Aegis, so not a bad pick. The Bear might get a kill and will on the bounty. Yeah, three for one. Yep. Jeez, and too. He's cogged out and trying to hook onto the Bear. Koikva will be able to finish him off, though. So that's a triple kill for Koikva, costing him only his Aegis and, all told, a full man wipe. Not bad for Team Liquid. Yeah, that is just uh, their laning phase is completely breaking down. Yeah, Low Druid is just way too strong with uh, healing ward, especially when they're this farm. Going to bring oh, Omni Slash. Too. AA actually manages to go scepter through most of the Omni Slash jumps. But there's Aurora on to blow. Very low, but more concerned with the tower. And that bear, large and in charge, just nothing they can do to it whatsoever. Down goes Arax. The style done on Luna, but has that feeling of too little too late. There's a glimpse back on TC. Can they follow up magic missiles there as well as the Shuriken? God decides to hook through. Koi for Cod as well as Fluff. But God going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. There's the Eclipse. Blow your brain. Doing what he can and manages to notch a double kill. Actually, way too getting the double kill there. And three for two, the exchange. So Virtus Pro not going to be too happy with that. And they're not done yet either. With the healing ward and the radiance on that bear, they can continue to apply pressure if they want, at least down bottom. The Assault Curas now done on Quick Fun. He's really had a great game. Sitting at 7-0. Oh, Roar on the NS. And a couple of auto attacks yeah, will do that. GG. I mean, we have the AC up on the bear. 22 minutes AC minus radiance on Koi, but that is just absolutely insane farm, man. He's been the really been the standout player for me in the series, along with TC. Those two, I mean, both of two, pretty much everyone on Liquid has just been playing extremely, extremely well today. Koi, but really showing his uh, versatility. I think, uh, I think it's fair to say, yep, GG comes out. I think it's fair to say Liquid's on a bit of a tear. They uh, upset Navi, now beating VP. They've had success in other tournaments and elsewhere. And not hard to see why. As they hang a 22-minute, 24-second win on Virtus Pro, making it look easy.